Well, we're really excited to be back. Obviously, it's been two years at this point since we've been able to step on a field and um, just play together competitively. It's been definitely super enjoyable to get back on there and just go really hard for those 90 minutes to two hours of practice every day. So we're definitely a young team this year. We have seven returners versus 22 who are relatively new to the college game. A few of them have played with us last year in the spring and they were here in the fall. But in general, as a college preseason and as a real season goes, this is 22 people's first and seven people are returning. So definitely young. We're trying to get used to it, trying to get everybody on board. We're just trying to build that camaraderie still between everyone that will get us to have the chemistry we need to win games. I think everyone's very excited, optimistic about what's to come. But we had our first scrimmage the other day. The energy was high. We played pretty well based on what we've been working on at practice. So I think now going into the game on Wednesday, um, we're excited, we're ready to go. We have seven returners. Three of those seven returners do play, are on our defensive line, including myself. Um, so I think it's probably our most consistent line with who's playing there at this point. So I think we just need to step up, be leaders. We can see the entire field when we're on the field. So communication is key from us. We have two freshman goalies, so we need to help them out, make them feel as comfortable as possible in goal. I believe that we're a very possession-based team, so you might see us swinging around the back a lot, and I know it looks kind of like we're not trying to push forward as much. However, we are just trying to build up the play. We'll continue to play our style and get it down, um, build the chemistry more so that we can see a lot more attacking. It's been a lot of building. I think it's uh, mostly been a new approach. Right now, it is definitely a learning curve where um, switching a lot of positions, a lot of people are trying to uh, shift in new places and eventually I think the goals will come and especially when we learn how the, each other's playing style. Centennial Conference is very strong. This is definitely going to be a change for the younger players. It's going to be uh, a change in level of play but that's something that we've been preparing for where we've been trying to even adjust how our mentality is so that when we step out on the field we're ready to get after the opponents and really just, as our head coach says, get stuck in. I think ECAC's was a good look for us about what is possible, even at the Centennial Conference level and the NCAA, hopefully. So I think that just pushes us that we got to play longer, so we didn't end in October, instead we ended by like Thanksgiving. It was a good look into what's to come and even more. Um, it gives us a goal to reach for. In all honesty, having known the previous team that got disbanded because of COVID, uh, it's been kind of a, an adjustment to get used to having, like I went from a sophomore basically to being a senior. Um, and that is the weirdest thing that could have ever happened. I'm excited to try and have these girls have the same great experience I had freshman and sophomore year. And I hope that we can we're really focus on building our legacy to continue from this year on to get to the uh, Centennial Conference Championship as well as NC2A tournament as soon as possible. That is definitely our goal.